In this animation, we'll be examining how the 3D world simulated environments can be used in the PLC Logic simulation package. Here we have a list of the 10 available 3D simulation environments. For the purpose of this animation, we'll be using the Batch Mixer application. We'll be starting with a simple ladder logic program intended to fill the batch mixer with 20 units of solution A and 10 units of solution B. With our starting point program loaded, we click on the IO Worlds menu item to bring up a list of the available simulation environments. From the drop down list, we now select the batch processing option to associate the batch mixer with this ladder logic program. A new window opens containing the batch mixer environment, the control panel, as well as the camera angle and zoom control. We'll minimize this new window and take a moment to see how the ladder logic program is tied in to the 3D environment. Click on the IO map menu item to bring up a complete listing of the IO available in the batch mixer environment. With the table open, we can see that the start and stop push buttons located on the interactive control panel have already been assigned in our starting point ladder program. In addition, the flow meters and overflow sensor, as well as the pump motor controls and run and full indicators are also being used. We will now go ahead and simulate the application in its current state just to get an understanding of how things are working. We select the online option to upload the program and place the controller in run mode. Next, we maximize the 3D world for the batch mixer to start the execution of the program. Clicking on the start button locks up our seal in rung and the run indicator on the control panel illuminates. At this time, pump motors 1 and 2 begin to pump fluid into the tank. As the tank fills, the flow meters send input pulses to the I.O. rack. A single input pulse is being sent for each unit of solution A and B as they are being added. Normally open contacts associated with the flow meter inputs are being used to increment the volume tracking counters used in the ladder logic program. Once the desired 10 units of solution B have been added to the tank, pump 2 is shut down the remainder of the tank is filled with solution A. This provides us with 20 units of solution A to 10 units of solution B as outlined in our ladder logic program. The batch mixing tank is capable of holding a total of 30 units of fluid. Once the entire 20 units of solution A has been added in addition to the 10 units of solution B, the tank's overflow full sensor is triggered, illuminating the full indicator on the control panel. We click on the stop button in the interactive control panel to shut down the application. We'll now move on and illustrate how easy it is to add functionality to our existing starting point program. In this application we're going to also control the agitator to mix the solutions as they are being added. To do this we bring up the tag editor to add a tag that we will assign to the mixing motor. With the tag editor open, we once again click on the IO map menu item to bring up the IO mapping and confirm the address of the agitator motor. As can be seen, the agitator or mixer motor is connected to the slot 2 bit 0 output rack location. We click on the text box to add the new tag. Next, we enter the new name for our tag. We then click on the alias 4 field for this new tag and assign the alias address at slot 2 bit 0. With the new tag aliasing the mixing motor created, we return to our ladder logic program and add a rung to control the mixer motor. Rung 4, consisting of a normally open contact and an OTE instruction, has now been added to the program. We have assigned our new tag to the OTE instruction and this output will control the mixing motor. Note that the motor will be active as soon as the seal in rung has been locked up. This should engage the mixing motor once the start button is pressed. To confirm the new behavior of our program, we go online and place the controller in run mode. We once again maximize the 3D world to view the execution of our modified program. 
Once the start button has been pressed, the mixing motor immediately begins running and agitates the solutions as they are being added. This motor will continue to run as long as the stop button is not pressed. In this way we can continue to add functionality to our ladder logic program and view the results during program execution. The Batch Mixer 3D world also allows for heating of the solution to a given set point. The heating can be done by discrete or analog control. In addition, a third pump is added to drain the tank once it's filled. A corresponding third flow meter is available to track the fluid as it leaves the tank. As has been demonstrated, PLC Logix is a powerful tool for simulating PLC automation applications. Nine other 3D simulation environments are offered with the PLC Logix simulation tool. This program is included in the PLC Technician 2 certificate program offered by George Brown College. To find out more about the PLC Technician 2 certificate program as well as other online certificate programs offered by George Brown College, Contact one of our program advisors at the toll-free number displayed here or go to our website gbctechtraining.com.